so sneakers blessed me with one more release thankfully now i'm recording this the day unc's came out didn't get blessed with those sad boys i'd rather have those than these but i gotta be honest this is my first pair of suede dunk low retros i gotta specify retros because i've owned tons of dunks before this is like the newer version dunks you know i'm the hundred dollar dunks are, are prevalent nowadays so what is up everybody welcome back to the sneaker circle it's your boy danny coming back with another review now i must admit i didn't expect to like these as much as i did like i knew i was gonna like the colorway i just didn't know if i was gonna like the suede i am one of the people who is preferably on the side of leather for most things it's just raining down here in florida and i just don't want to get caught like lacking by a, like a, a rain cloud one day just this i just don't want to put myself in that position but this suede might be worth that risk. Let me let me get into it. Quick tag picture for those that need it. There you go, screenshot it, send it to your mom. Do whatever you need to do, no judging. And getting straight into this release now, I've liked these since first pictures. I've, I've been a fan of these. I didn't know how much I was gonna like suede. On these newer dunks, because I'm just used to all the leather releases, it's the only ones I can really like purchase. But I must admit, for $100, this suede is not bad. It's, it's a decent suede, it makes me want plums even more if that makes sense so one thing i've noticed with suede dunk releases is usually they come in like muted tones even the really colorful pair that i really can't remember right here here's a photo of them even them being as vibrant as they are they still have this like subtleness to them like some like like a shade's just been turned down from their actual color now here we have orange and we have like really light green and that and that really dark brown that's on the toe. I really I really dig this color combination. And I guess the name encompasses exactly what I'm trying to say, dusty olive. Cuz yeah, the suede makes it look like washed out like a dusty figure. So you can see how bright the, the orange laces are. I think I'd rather have white laces on these. I might try that. And you have that orange sole right at the bottom. And then just a brown nylon and i guess that brown tongue as well kind of shows you just how dusty this the suede kind of makes it look i'm kind of i'm kind of digging that even right here if we take a quick look at this olive here or this green right here versus this green i'll get as close as possible you can just kind of see how more vibrant this is right here and this right here is compared to this green i mean it's, it's, it's a vibe, it's a look, I can't front. So seeing these in person definitely raised the question, are suede dunk lows better than the leather ones? So I'm gonna bring out the first pair of leather ones I have. Now I've been beating these and these might not be the best like comparison to do. Let me get these out of the way. So these are the Sambas, the, the video is on my channel, but it's, it's lesser quality. I understand if you don't wanna go watch it, you don't have to unless you wanna buy these, then go watch it, please. Heed my word. And I must admit, just seeing both side by side, I'm preferring the suede themed sneaker. If, if you're paying $100, let's start with that standard. If you're paying $100 for a pair of dunks, I would prefer the quality you get from suede dunks than these like leather dunks. Now, I kept hearing a thing online saying that suede dunks fit just a little bit more roomy or a little bit bigger. In my opinion, I've tried this one on, I've worn this one like consistently, these are both 10 and a halfs. They don't fit that much different. There's not enough room to justify a size down unless you have like a really narrow foot. Remember, you're on my channel, you're coming from someone who wears, who has a wider foot preference. So that's, that's basically what I size for. They fit just like these in my opinion. Maybe it's a little bit softer because you're not dealing with like leather, like stiff leather, or in this case, synthetic. And it's just like, man, I'd really rather have these at $100 than these at $100. Now I know that's not the best comparison because Sambas were like one of the first dunks to release and then not really go for much back in 2020. I think they're still sitting at like 190, 200. Maybe they've gone up a little bit since the last time I've looked, but that's not gonna stop me from beating those over there. Just getting back into these, like these are, they're a beautiful sneaker. Now, let me give you that one last look around. Let me give you a quick close-up of that toe box. Wouldn't it be nice if I just had 
a lens that was a little bit closer it would be so fire <laughs> that's where i'm gonna end my review guys thank you for tuning in look at that nike on the back and that beautiful just dusty olive i'm gonna see you guys in the next video hopefully by the time this comes out or by the time you know you see my other videos i'm at a thousand subs almost there if you're new to the channel if you've made it this far just feel free to sub you're, you're gonna like the content it just keeps getting better from here you know to the moon to the moon boys i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace